Rust in your car's coolant should never occur. If rust appears, you can be certain that there is a problem that needs to be fixed. Rust is an indication that the cooling system is corroding. These rust fragments begin to build up until they obstruct the passageways. Permanent damage may result from coolant that cannot flow through the engine in the intended manner. This is why you should address corrosion as soon as you see it. Having said that, people sometimes mistake a brown material in the coolant for rust when it's something else. It's critical to determine whether the particles of rust are present or if you are merely looking at old, contaminated coolant. The answer would be the same in either case. The most worrisome scenario would be if the brown hue was caused by oil seeping into the cooling system. A far larger repair would be necessary to solve this issue. In this video, we discuss the top four causes of rust in a coolant and also show you what to do about it and how to prevent it. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Lack of Antifreeze Mix the cooling system in your car is made of metal. The coolant makes sure that water doesn't get inside these components and rust them. It serves as a partition. On the other hand, condensation and moisture may appear if the system isn't receiving the proper amount of coolant. After that, rust and corrosion can occur on the metal. In addition, the engine may overheat if there is not enough antifreeze, which could cause even more serious issues. Not maintained properly. Just like any other fluid in the car, it has its proper time to be changed. Even though you might not think twice about getting regular oil changes, the coolant is equally crucial. The system will no longer be able to shield the important parts if you let old coolant flow through it. Outdated coolant can cause seals and hoses to fail, in addition to causing corrosion in the metal parts. The bad news is that any issue that results in poor circulation could lead to engine overheating. When it comes to coolant changes, most manufacturers advise doing so every 30,000 miles or every two years whichever comes first. Nevertheless, some more recent models are lasting longer than this, so it's crucial to review the maintenance plan that was established for your car. Bad antifreeze product. The market is filled with different kinds of antifreeze products. It is essential to use the correct coolant in your car for the same reason that you should only use one type of oil in your engine. By consulting the owner's manual, you can determine the proper type and ratio. For the majority of formulas, you must mix the coolant and water one to one. Although pre-mixed formulations are also sold, buying water when you can mix it yourself usually makes more sense. Some people will pour water straight into the reservoir without first mixing in coolant when the coolant level drops. Rusting may also result from this practice. Water without coolant causes corrosion and oxidation. Air getting into the cooling system. It is intended for the cooling system to stay sealed. There won't be any trapped air within the parts when it's operating properly. On the other hand, several issues could let air into the system. As you already know, rust results from more water building up in the system due to trapped air. How to fix? It's time to act after rust has been verified to be present. It is not difficult to follow these three steps, even if you are not very mechanical. Fix coolant leaks and drain fluid. Finding and diagnosing any coolant leaks should come first. You must drain the old coolant from the car after ensuring no leaks. Remove the cap and let the coolant run out using a drain pan. You can move the coolant to an old antifreeze jug once it has stopped flowing. Bring it to the auto parts store nearby so it can be recycled. Antifreeze bottles should not be emptied or thrown in the trash. Flush the cooling system. The rust cannot be completely removed by draining the cooling system. Additionally, you'll need to use water to flush the system. Verify again how much water is required and make sure the pressure is applied correctly. Any remaining rust or debris ought to be forced out by the water. Fill the system with a good antifreeze product. Now that the system has been fully flushed, it is prepared for refilling. But, you have to exercise caution when selecting your purchases. Be sure the coolant you purchase is suitable for the type of engine you have. To help avoid such issues in the future, you might also think about applying a rust inhibitor product. It's crucial to empty the system of any remaining air after it has been filled. If not, you risk letting air into the system and finding yourself in a similar situation again. You should also check the reservoir's coolant level twice and top it off as necessary. 